How's it going, everybody? Welcome to today's Sick Mobility class. I am Coach Ray. Thank you for joining me. Hope everybody's having a good day so far. So for today's class, we are going to need one long and one short stick. We're still working on that superficial back line, so a lot of the movements that we are going to do is going to be pull-based movements. So for the strength training portion, I actually have a squat rack behind me, so I want you to have something secure for you to hook a band up to. Now, the band is light. It's a really, really light band. We're gonna need a light band for the drill that we're actually gonna get into because it is gonna involve external rotation and pressing out overhead, but it's really gonna to connect to those extensor tissues. We're also gonna get into a row variation, really working with the isometric here. And then I wanna finish off with a nice little core drill. I love finishing off with core. So going through the warm up, we're actually gonna go through a full body warm up, but I really wanna put a lot of emphasis on working on the spine and the shoulder. So that's what we're actually gonna start with here. So I'm gonna step back here. So we're gonna start off with a hang to a pec stretch here. So I'm gonna have the stick in my right hand and I'm gonna have my feet roughly about hip width apart. Both toes are pointed forward. I have the bottom of the stick in line with my midfoot here. Now what I wanna do from here, I'm gonna step back first and get into that hang. So I'm gonna step back with my right leg create a pretty big split and I'm gonna hang down. I wanna get a real good hang here, fill that rib cage, kind of open up a little bit that lateral line. It's gonna hold here, then step back up and then bring the stick out to the side and hang down. Going for that stretch in the shoulder and a pec area. If you're really tight, you might get a little bit of bicep as well. Good. We're gonna come back up and then step back with that right again. This time, rotate to the left, reach across, going towards nine o'clock. So you're gonna feel that lat open up a little bit more here, then step up and hinge back. That stick should be in line with the rib cage here. Shouldn't be above the head, where right? I want that in line with the ribs. That's why we got the bottom of the stick at midfoot here. Gonna come back up, step back again with the right, reach to nine, rotate. Good. Step back up. Excellent, come out to the side, get a hang, stretch that pec. Make sure you breathe here, it's important. Excellent, come back up nice and slow and ease off. Let's go ahead and switch sides here. So I'll actually turn to the side so you can get a view of what that looks like. So I'm gonna set up the same way. Feet are at about hip width apart. Bottom of the stick is in line with midfoot here. Right side of the midfoot. Same thing, so left hand's up nice and high. Step back with that left leg. Sink into it. Get a nice hand going. Just gonna face forward first. Excellent. Step up, go into a hinge, stick comes towards the rib cage. It's real important that we breathe here, folks. Good. Up, step back with the left. Rotate and reach to three at three o'clock. Breathe, good, step back up, hinge. Breathe, excellent, step back up, or step back, reach the three o'clock. Really try to get that rotation here, feel that stretch in those lateral tissues, and the hip. Good, we're gonna step back up and hinge one more time. Stick comes in line with the rib cage. Excellent. Come up and out and ease off. Good. And so now we're gonna go into opening up that T-spine really trying to get that extension here. So for this one, I'm gonna have 
I'm gonna go with a, a, a shoulder width stance. Both feet are facing forward. I wanna have both hands at about roughly chin height. The stick is slightly angled in towards me, just a little bit here. Now from here, what we're gonna do, lightly drive that stick down and I'm gonna drive my hips back and hands out. Go down as low as I can. Good, come back up. We're not holding for long. We just wanna find that stretch at the end of that range here. Let's go again. Drive the stick down, about 20%. Hinge, drive those hands out. Up. Excellent, ease off. Let's go again. Drive down, hinge. Breathe, excellent. Back up, ease off. Now we're gonna add in the rotations with that drill. So I'm actually gonna uh, turn forward here. I'm gonna go back to that same position. So I'm actually gonna have my right hand stacked under my left. So I'm gonna be rotating to my left and letting go with that left hand and reaching back. So from here, same thing, lightly drive that stick into the floor, hinge back, reach those hands out. I'm gonna rotate the stick over to my left side, and then let go with the left hand, reach up, look up towards the ceiling, back down, come forward, up, and ease off. Let's do that two more times and we'll switch sides. Hinge, draw those hands out, clear the head, bring it across the body, let go with the left hand, reach up, excellent, place the hand back on, come back forward, stand up, excellent, let's go one more time, hinge, good, rotate across, let go with that left hand. Excellent, back on, forward and up. Excellent, switch sides. So switch your hands. Now my left hand stacked under my right. I'm gonna do that same thing again. Drive those hips back. Rotate to the, the stick to the right, make sure your head is clear. Let go with the right hand, reach up. Excellent, place it back on, forward, stand up, good, ease off, same thing, drop down, hinge, should be feeling that T-spine starting to open up and loosen up a bit here, good, let go with the right hand, reach up and back, so we gotta take care of the spine first, place the hand back on, come forward and up, Got one more time in order to really kind of open up those shoulders. Drop down, hinge, good. Rotate to the right, make sure that's clear. Let go with the right hand, reach up. Three, two, one. Place it back on, stand up, and ease off, good. All right, so now I'm gonna place the long stick down, and grab the short stick here. So we're gonna do pendulums. Now the main objective with this is we're pushing with the hand that's coming under. So as my right hand comes up, I'm really driving with that left hand to try to get as much range as I possibly can get here. Do not move into those ranges of pain. Remember, we're always trying to stay out of those ranges that cause any kind of pain. So I'm gonna take a shoulder width stance, toes are pointed forward. I wanna squeeze my glutes here, make sure everything's nice and tight. What I'm gonna do is I wanna light, I wanna have my fingertips on the end of the stick here, and I wanna lightly compress, so about 20%, and I'm gonna bring my left hand down and across, and bring my right hand up, as high as I can. Good, back down, bring that right hand down and across, bring the left hand up as high as I can. Good, should we get a nice little stretch in the shoulder here? Switch. Good. Make sure you breathe, switch. Keep it nice and smooth. Good, switch. Switch. 
switch. One good. Nice and controlled. One more time each way. Switch. Good. Last one. Switch. Excellent. And ease off. All right. So now we're going to get into work with some dislocates. I just want to kind of create tension here. So we're looking to warm up that shoulder capsule, working in different ranges. What's going to be a little bit different here is that as we do this, we're going to pause at certain ranges, create a push pull, and then continue on. So for this, I'm going to take a step back. And I'm actually going to turn to the side here. It's really important that we keep control of the back in that pelvic region as well as the rib cage. If you find that your rib cage is flaring too much, reduce your range of motion, really focus on dropping that rib cage down towards the pelvis here. So I'm gonna take a relatively wide grip, right? Definitely wider than shoulder width here. Feet are gonna be at shoulder width, toes are pointed forward. Now what I'm gonna do from here, squeeze those glutes as usual, keep that rib cage locked down. From here, I'm gonna start at the bottom and then I'm gonna pull apart about 30%. I'm gonna bring the stick up once I get to shoulder height, I'm gonna compress 30%. Feel those anterior tissues turn on. Good, pull apart. Now you feel the posterior tissues turn on. Keep that chin back and down. Compress, 30%. Pull apart. Good. I'm gonna bring the stick up to about forehead height. Same thing, compress. Good, pull apart, compress, and pull apart, bring it up a little higher, same thing, compress, pull apart, try to keep those elbows locked out, compress, pull apart, Bring it all the way up overhead. Same thing, compress, pull apart, compress, pull apart, back down, compress, pull apart, compress, pull apart. Bring it to forehead height, compress, pull apart, compress, and pull apart. Bring it to shoulder height, last time, compress, pull apart, compress, and pull apart, back down and ease off. Shoulders should be feeling pretty good, pretty warm. Now we're gonna work on pelvic tilts. I really wanna focus on those lateral tilts. We're just gonna really quickly work through the anterior, posterior, get that movement in, then work with the lateral here. And so with the lateral, we are gonna actually kind of change positions a little bit because we can actually manipulate it for getting more so the QL involved or the oblique. So. We're going to kind of work with that a little bit. So I'm going to take a wide, a relatively wide stance, maybe a little bit wider than shoulder width here, still with the short stick, and I have the stick angled in towards me. So if I turn to the side, I want to angle it in like so. Again, going with that natural arm drive, right? So we're going to go with anterior, posterior tilts first, have my hand stacked at about chest height, squat down, make sure to spine is up uh, nice and tall, pelvis act under the spine, drive the stick down about 40%. We're gonna go posterior tilt. So squeeze those glutes, drive those knees apart. Good, anterior tilt. Try to those lower back tissues tighten. Posterior tilt, squeeze the glutes. Anterior tilt. Posterior tilt. Good, anterior tilt. Posterior tilt. Excellent, anterior tilt. 
So we're gonna to go to posterior tilt. This is where we're gonna fill those obliques, get involved here. So we're gonna go with lateral hip bumps. I'm gonna bump my hip up to the right, pull that glute tighten, bump the hip up to the left. Make sure you're driving down 40%. Bump to the right. That glute should be firing pretty hard here. Bump to the left. Good, back to center. Now I'm gonna do an anterior tilt. So create some extension in the low back. We're gonna do the same thing. Bump the hips to the right. Now you're gonna feel that QO get active. Now bump to the left. Good, bump to the right. Good, bump to the left. Excellent, back to center. Let's go neutral. We're gonna go lateral hip bumps again, but this time I'm gonna drop my shoulder of the side I'm doing a bump to. So as I bump my right hip up, I'm gonna drop my right shoulder down. Good, back to center. Bump my left hip up, drop that left shoulder down. So driving that stick into the floor, bump to the right, drive that right shoulder down. Good, back to center, bump to the left, drive that left shoulder down. Excellent, back to center, and ease off. Excellent, good. Now we're gonna get into that strength training part. This is where we're gonna use the band. So please make sure that's hooked up to something that's really, really secure here. Now we're gonna do dislocates, kind of similar to what we did before. However, what's gonna be a little bit different is we're not actually gonna have the band around the neck. We're gonna use the stick as the anchor for the band to a degree. Now, as we do this, it's really important that we're tensioning those lines appropriately. So for this, to work on that back line, we need to pull apart. That's gonna be really, really important here. So I have, again, this is a really light band. Nothing too heavy. If it goes too heavy, you're probably gonna have a really, really tough time with this. This is something you wanna do with a light band. So I have the band right around the middle of the stick here. You know, or get as close to the middle of the stick as best you can. Still with the short stick here, folks. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step, make sure I, I got some tension on the band and step back a bit, right? And I'm gonna squat down, get it to that horse stance, squeeze those glutes, keep control of that pelvis. Now what I'm gonna do from here, having my hands out wider than shoulder width, I'm going to pull the stick apart. So I'm gonna create tension. So pull the stick apart 50%. Good, keep control of that rib cage. I'm gonna pull the stick in towards me just a bit. All right, so you see the distance that the stick's at. My elbows are at shoulder height. Now I'm gonna externally rotate. So I'm not gonna move the height of my elbows, but the stick's gonna come up overhead. Now from here, keeping my chin back, I'm gonna extend, press up overhead, hold, so pulling apart, three, two, one, bring it back down, rotate it forward, and ease off, and relax. Good, take a second here. You're gonna feel those erectors really light up. It's important that we keep that chin back, right? I wanna pack that chin to make sure over again, we're connecting to that back line here. So let's go a few more reps. Hands are in the same position. I'm gonna squat down a bit. Okay. Hands out, pull the stick apart, 50%. Pull towards you, good. Externally rotate. Good, press it up overhead. Five, four, three, two, one, and back down. Good, rotate in and ease off. Your back's gonna feel pretty lit up. Make sure you keep those glutes tight, lock those hips into extension so we're not getting that lumbar moving. Squat down, squeeze the glutes, you can control the rib cage, pull the stick apart, pull in towards you, externally rotate, good, press it overhead. Five, four, three, two, one, down, rotate it forward, and ease off. All right, let's get one more, folks, one more. Squat 
down, squeeze the glutes, pull apart, pull in, externally rotate, press it up overhead, pull, good, back down, rotate in, and ease off. Excellent, good. Now, still sticking with the short stick, this is where we're gonna get into that row variation. So with this, we're gonna go with the palms up grip, externally rotating the shoulders. Prefer to do it this way, just so we can actually really connect more. When we internally rotate, it can potentially take away from really loading up that back line, depending on what you're doing. And so for here, I'm gonna take roughly about a hip to shoulder with stance. This is really gonna depend on what's comfortable for you. If you like going wider, I would suggest you go wider. So from here, I'm gonna have my feet uh, forward. I'm gonna have my hands slightly wider than shoulder width here, right? So I'm not going with a really wide grip. So what I wanna do from here, I wanna hinge. So arms are straight. I'm going to hinge and I'm gonna go down to right about below my knees. All right, this is gonna be a good position here. We're not completely parallel to the floor, but we had a really good angle. Now from here, I'm going to pull the stick apart at about 50% tension. You're gonna feel those back tissues get turned on. Keeping the chin back, eyes looking down, and I'm gonna slowly pull the stick up towards my rib cage, pulling apart the entire time. Hold at the top end of the range. Three, two, one. Go back down, nice and slow, and ease off. Stand up, take a second. You're gonna feel the erectors get, uh, activate, you're gonna feel those lats activate, you're gonna feel a lot of those back tissues activate. That's what we want. We want as much activation in the entire back as we can get. So we're gonna do that same thing again. So guide the stick down the legs, hinge, Go to your right below the knee, pull the stick apart 70%. Pull up towards you, nice and slow. Once you get to that end range, hold. Three, two, one. Back down. Good, ease off and stand up. Squeeze those glutes, relax. Let's get two more here. The, the good thing about this, we get to practice that row, right? <sighs> Same thing, arm straight, hinge, go to get below the knees, keep that back nice and neutral, pull the stick apart 70%, <sighs> slowly pull up, keep that tension of pulling the stick apart, do not let that go. <sighs> Hold. Three, two, one, good. Back down. Ease off, stand up and squeeze the glutes. And relax. Let's get one more here. Your back should be feeling pretty good. Also, we're aiming for like, right about mid rib cage, maybe our belly button level. That's the aim we're going for. If you're pulling too high, you start to change the relation of the tissues that are working. Also, you're more likely to, to be prone to that anterior rotation of the shoulders. We want to keep those shoulders back. Last one. So hinge. Good, pull the stick apart. Let's go 80% a little bit more. Slowly pull up, keep those elbows out. Oh, three, two, one, back down. Ease off, stand up, squeeze those glutes, and relax. Good, excellent. 
All right, we're gonna place the short stick down. Now we're gonna switch over to the long stick. So, this is where our core drill comes in. I wanna get into a standing plank. We're gonna add in some rotations, really connect to those obliques. However, we are gonna make some subtle movements to really drive it really, really hard here. So, this is the cramping man Sue. Just a warning. So kind of similar to how we did the lateral pelvic tilt. Going to be kind of similar where we're utilizing the shoulder to create more tension in those lateral tissues. However, we're going to be doing that from a standing plank position. So a stick rotates, hips don't rotate. So feet are at about roughly shoulder width apart, toes are pointed forward. Make sure you're gripping the ground with those toes here, right? So squeeze the glutes. So, uh, knees are locked out here. Bottom of the stick is angled in towards me and I'm, I'm gripping the stick at shoulder height here. First thing I wanna do, drive that stick down with about 60% tension. So push, good. Rotate to your left, rotate to shoulders. Do not rotate the hips. Now from here, keep your arm straight, drop that left shoulder towards the left hip Keeping a left hip forward, good. Come back up to neutral, rotate back to center. Now rotate to the right, do the same thing. Good, drop that right hip down towards the hip, or right shoulder down towards the hip. Good, back up to center, forward, and he's off. So, obliques should be firing here. What we're gonna do is I'm a little bit different. We're now gonna actually elevate that heel of the side we're rotating to. So we're gonna have intent of driving that hip up a little bit, right? Same thing, hands are shoulder height. So squeeze those glutes, a little bit of a posterior tilt, drive stick down 60%, rotate to the left. I'm gonna drop my left shoulder down towards my left hip. Now I'm gonna drive that hip up Bring in my left heel high, good, back down, back to center. Now we're gonna rotate to the right, do the same thing. Right shoulder down, bring that right hip up. Good, back down, back to center, and ease off. Let's do that again. I'm gonna turn a little bit to the side so you actually kinda of see what that looks like. Last time, I promise. <laughs> so we're gonna set up here. Squeeze the glutes, drive the stick down. <sighs> Rotate to the right. <sighs> Good. Bring that right shoulder down towards the right hip. Drive that right hip up by bringing that heel up nice and tall. <sighs> Keep driving the stick down. <sighs> Good, place that heel down. Back to center, now we're gonna do that to the left. Keep that intent of driving the stick down. Left shoulder comes down. Left heel comes up nice and high. Really shortening those lateral lines. Good. Back down. Back up to center. Come forward and ease off. Woo. Good, excellent. Doing good, folks. All right, so rest of the strength portion. Now we're gonna get into the deep fascial stretching. So. If you have a bench or chair, this is gonna be a perfect time. I wanna actually focus on actually stretching out the hips first, and then we're gonna move into stretching out the lats and getting the back a little bit more stretched out as well, all right? So if you have a pad for you to kneel on, that'd be perfect for you to grab right now. We are gonna do the couch stretch. So for this, always make sure you don't go into too intense of a stretch. We want the tissues to be able to elongate. We don't want them to shorten because you're overstretched here. So I'm gonna keep the long stick and I'm gonna have a long stick in my right hand. So my right foot is gonna be on the bench here. So left foot's gonna be forward. You're gonna have to play around with the distance of your front, your front leg in order to find the right distance. So I'm gonna place the top of my foot on the bench and then I'm gonna lower my right knee down. If you can get it to the floor, Perfect. If you can't, that's fine too. And so left leg is forward here. Now in this position, I'm not actually tensioning anything, 
but I have to get a little bit of a stretch in that rec fem or rectus femoris. And so what I want to do now is I'm going to tension or create more of a stretch by doing a posterior tilt. So I'm going to do a posterior pelvic tilt. Good. Now I get an increased stretch on those anterior tissues. I'm going to have the stick right in front of my right hip and reach up with that right hand. Good. To place the left hand on the stick for a little added support and balance. Good, I'm gonna ease off that tilt. Shift forward just a smidge, ease off that stretch. Now I'm gonna come back. Good, posterior tilt. Good, hold. Make sure you breathe here. Excellent. We're going to ease off. Let's go one more time. Bring it back up. Posterior tilt. Three, two, one. Ease off. Use a stick to assist yourself up. Now we're going to switch. So do that same thing. Try to find that distance that's going to be the same when you do switch legs here. Top of the foot's in the bench. Drop that back knee down. You also notice that one side's going to feel a little bit tighter. That's the side you really want to put a lot of, a lot of effort and focus on when it comes to this particular stretch. So from here, I'm going to do that same thing. Left hand reaches up, right hand on a stick for support. In this position, tuck the pelvis. Good, you're gonna get a nice big stretch. It shouldn't be too intense, it shouldn't be a 10 out of 10, it should be more like a seven out of 10 here. Good, shift forward, ease off. It's important to breathe here, folks. Let's go into it again. Reach up, tuck the pelvis. Breathe. Three, two, one. Good. Ease off. Go one more time. Step back. Tuck that pelvis. Deep breaths, folks. Deep breaths. Three, two, one. Ease off, assist yourself up, and excellent. Good. So now we're going to go to the floor. We're going to get into a straddle stretch. We're going to focus on stretching out those hamstrings. We're also going to get into the QL by actually reaching across the body here. So I would typically go with a pro model, like a seven foot stick. This just tends to be a little bit tougher. So right now I'm just going to go with a six foot stick. Now, for this particular stretch, the main objective is to, for one, you want to keep your legs straight. You don't want your legs bent for this one. It's not doing a frog stretch, right? But keeping those legs straight or knees locked out allows us to kind of connect to that, uh, to the hamstrings more. If you find that you're getting like a little bit of a pull sensation in the back of the knee, you can always slightly bend your knee. That might help out depending on the person. So from here, I'm gonna go as wide as I can. And then I'm gonna take the stick and place it. I like to go about right about the arch of the foot or right below the ball of the foot. It needs to be in a secure spot under the foot here. Now from here, toes are pointed up, right? And now from where the stick is, I have both hands on the stick, roughly about a little, little more so on the inside of my shoulders and I wanna pull the stick back and I'm gonna create a bow, right? Now again, keeping those toes pointed up towards the ceiling, I wanna maintain that tension. You're gonna feel a stretch in the adductors. You're gonna feel a little bit of a stretch in the hamstrings. I'm gonna ease off. I'm gonna rotate the stick a bit. We're gonna do that again. I'm gonna place my hands out a little wider gonna pull, create tension, pull myself to a nice upright position. Now I'm gonna pull my torso down towards the stick. Now we get a bigger stretch in those hamstrings. Good. 
Good. Ease off and relax. I'm going to wiggle my feet out a little wider. All right. Try to open up those hips a little bit more. Rotate the stick. Same thing. I'm going to pull the stick back towards me. Pull myself into an upright position. Good. I'm going to let off with my right hand and I'm going to reach across to the left end of the stick. And I'm going to pull with that right hand. Now I get a stretch in that low back, that QL right here. Good. Take, some, take your right hand off. Now switch. Let go with the left hand. Still pulling with that right. Reach across. Breathe. Back to center. Ease off. Rotate the stick again. All right. Gonna go into it again. Pull. Create that tension. You should feel like your adductors are starting to loosen up here a little bit more. So same thing with your hamstrings. Let go with that right hand. Reach over towards the right left end of the stick. Pull. Breathe. It should feel good on that low back area. Good. Bring the right hand back. Let go with the left. Reach across with the left hand. Breathe. Good. Bring the hand, left hand back to neutral. Now, we're gonna reverse the hand so the palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Pull the stick in. Pull yourself, pull your torso down towards the stick. Get that increased stretch. Make sure you're breathing here. Excellent. Ease off. Perfect. Now we're done with that. Slowly come out. Your hips are going to probably feel super stretched out. So take a second. And now we're going to stand up. And so from here, what I want to work on is doing a flag. Right. So kind of bringing that right, that uh, kind of got like into a hang. But we're going to bring that leg that's closest to the stick back and across. So we're going to further lengthen that lateral line and those tissues. And we'll actually be able to kind of get that low back involved or some of the back tissues involved with this stretch here. So I'm gonna have the stick on my right side. Now, the position of the stick is gonna be a little different. I actually want the stick to be more so in line with the toes of my front foot here. Now, what I'm gonna do with this back foot is I'm going to take, sorry, my right foot, I'm going to take it, place it back and across. All right, that's the first step. So you're actually stepping back and across. I'm gonna place my left hand on the stick for added support. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to hang. So I'm gonna drop that right hip in towards the bottom of the stick. Notice I'm on the outside of my right foot here. The real big stretch. Excellent, ease off, stand up. We're gonna do that again. Rotate that stick a bit, all right? So it's not all bending in one way. Same thing, right, left hand's on a stick. I'm gonna slowly drop into it, get a hang. Might feel a little back stretching that hip. Really reach with that right hand. Three, two, one, excellent. Ease off, good. Now we're gonna switch sides. So right leg is forward, left hand's up nice and high. Bring that left foot across, right hand's on the stick here. Then same thing, drop that left hip down. Three, two, one, excellent, ease off. 
We're gonna go one more time, folks. After that, we are good to go, my friends. Right hand's on a stick. Drop that left hip down. Three, two, one. Excellent, ease off and perfect. And that, my friends, concludes today's stick mobility class. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Hope everybody had a good class today. Still learning how to, again, connect to that back line, really learn what it feels like to actually activate it. But I'll be sure to catch you on the next one. Stay safe out there. Have a good one.